It has been a long time since we did a virtual reality video, isn't it? Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome to a very special video today. We are unboxing and trying out the PlayStation VR. We just got one of these headsets in the office, it's going to be shared by all of us, so I imagine a lot of the YOG channel is going to be spitting out content on this over the next few days, but I get the first hands-on, ooh. So to give you an idea as to how much time I've had with the PlayStation VR, it's practically none. I played a singular match or a singular round on a game called World War Tunes, which was at TwitchCon last week, and it was my first time experiencing the headset, wearing it, seeing what the graphical quality was like, and it actually made me a bit more hopeful about it. So let's get into this thing and let's open it. Oh, and as a side note as well, we got sent a PlayStation Move controller as well as a PlayStation camera, which are both apparently PlayStation VR compatible. Good. Unboxings are always a bit of an experience, so I imagine there's going to be something cool when we do this. You ready for it? Top lid comes off. Oh, okay. It all kind of folds out like crazy. Ooh. All right, let's take a little look inside of this thing then. Oh. So we got a big ass booklet. This is the biggest manual I think I've ever had. Box number one, and it's a little bit of a giveaway on the front of the box as to what's inside it here. But from what I've heard, there's actually a processor. Yes, here it is. So there's a processor that actually runs from the PlayStation VR to this, and then into the PlayStation 4. And this also acts as a pass through, which allows you to run it into your television. So people can see what you're playing and I imagine for my recording purposes into an Elgato as well which is really nice have I broken it no, it just slides and clicks around like that. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're fine. I mean, aside from the sliding, it reminds me in a lot of ways of the PlayStation TV. It's a little bit bigger than that, but it's got a similar kind of vibe to it. So let's take a little tour around this thing. So, oh, ah, <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that. There's the front face. Let's go around to the back, which is the important part. We've got ourselves a fan, a power supply. Uh, we've got a micro USB port, as well as two HDMI ports. I believe one of those is for the PlayStation. The other one is for the television. And funnily enough, when you pop this part, Back, it reveals another HDMI port as well as another port that I don't actually recognize. Other than that, it's pretty plain on all sides, so let's set that aside for now. What else do we have inside of here? We've got a micro USB cable, as expected. We've got some stereo earphones, which is quite nice to have. The power supply for the unit, and that is box number one done. Tall long box, probably the power supply, I'm gonna guess. Yes it is. There's the power supply, okay, that's good. We've got plenty of booklets and leaflets and things like that, and then also a screen cleaner, which is nice. So for the lenses for the PlayStation VR, there's this nice cloth. I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but there are very teeny tiny PlayStation icons are slightly embossed into all of this. And probably the focus of today's video is this thing right here. It's the PlayStation VR demo disc, so we're gonna give this a whirl in just a few seconds. Another HDMI cable for good measure, and then what I can only assume is probably either an extension or just the way that the PlayStation VR headset connects to the processor. You can see there this matches the same two ports that I was querying about a second ago, the HDMI and then the other one that I'm not too familiar with and of course the cables to boot. And then are you ready for it? The main attraction, what we all came here to see the PlayStation VR headset. Now it is quite a big thing, like there's a lot of other headsets, they're pretty much just this front part and a couple of thin straps, but having used this once already, I did actually find this halo structure that they use for attaching it to your head a little bit more comfortable. And I also found that I could have a little bit more distance between myself and the lenses. So before we get into the headset itself, I think I've had my suspicions confirmed that these are the two cables that run from the headset into the box. So I think that other thing was an extender. And something else interesting on the cable as well is that there is a nice little box midway through where you can control things like volume there's got a built-in microphone to this as well which you can mute and unmute and there's even a power button on here as well to shut down the headset let's give you a close-up of this bad boy there it is and you can see just sneakily out the side of it there's a nice little headphone jack as well so of course you can use the earphones that come with the PlayStation VR you might prefer other types you might even want to have a big headset for some proper noise cancelling it should all be possible for this it looks like it's just a regular headphone jack are you ready for one of the most satisfying moments when you own a VR headset. Oh, taking the sticker off the lens. It's even better than when you pull one off a television. And there it goes again. Oh, so good. There's a couple more around the side as well. I love how protective they are of the PlayStation logo. You can see that there's a sticker specifically over that. Oh, wait, we've got one more logo. Of course, the Sony logo needs to be protected as well. There we are. So let's have a little look around the headset then. Show you what it looks like if you're about to mount it onto your face, what you would see as the player. You can see inside of there, we've got the two lenses, which are actually pretty damn big in my opinion. Uh, we've got the light sensor dead in the middle. And then there is also just here, the, uh, the nose bridge support. Very flappy. I have 
expected it to be a bit more firm, but I guess it's accommodating of all noses. And that's pretty much it for the actual main bulk of the headset. Like, there really isn't too many buttons. There's one more on the bottom side, which is quite cool. It actually allows you to press it in and hold, and you can actually slide the halo back and forth. And then the only other thing you can interact with really on the headset is this button right here and the adjust the wheel as well. This is essentially just letting you stretch the helmet to whatever size you'd like. So I mean if you've got a head like me, which is probably about that big, or if you're a predator and your head is that long, then that's a thing. Oh man, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cool. So I'm going to press the button to sort of loosen it up, get it to the right size, and I'm just going to click the wheel in a couple times to sort of tighten it to my head, which now means that I can do some really exaggerated head movements, and this thing isn't going anywhere because it's really fully supported around here. As ridiculous as this forehead part looks, it actually works really well because any movements you make are not just held to this axis and this axis. It's kind of an all-over feel. This really isn't going anywhere. So now now comes the interesting part. Obviously the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive weren't the most consumer friendly products to set up and really hard to debug. I'm hoping that with a couple simple steps inside of this, the PlayStation VR will be ready to go. Let's see how tough this is. All right, we're starting off with a list of components. So the first thing it wants me to do is it wants me to remove the HDMI cable from the PlayStation 4 and plug it straight into the processor instead. So HDMI cable out of there and into the... Oh no, it's moving. I can't do this one-handed. Oh no, everything's so dusty. Uh, let me quickly grab the HDMI cable out of there and we're going to run it into HDMI to TV. Oh, okay, interesting. So the next step is to plug the PlayStation camera into the PlayStation 4 itself. So here it is, the PlayStation camera. It looks a little bit different to the old ones. They had a much more cubic shape, whereas this has gone for kind of like the cylindrical vibe. And also so the mount that it clips into is really really cool so it compensates for the fact that there's going to be a cable sat in the back and it's also super like adjustable you can change all different kinds of angles and shapes and sizes to kind of fit wherever you're going to be placing the camera so the next step is to run a hdmi cable directly from the processor to the playstation 4 bloody hell they give you a big cable for this one all right hdmi cable in the ps4 and then into the processor this still moves around even when the cables are in which is a little bit weird i don't like that what is next old great book we're running a usb cable from the processor into the PlayStation 4. All right, so regular USB end goes into there and into the back of the PlayStation processor, we're gonna throw in the micro USB. There we are. So already that's quite a few steps and a few cables, but we aren't done yet. The headset's not even connected to this thing yet. So next up, we've gotta throw the power supply into the processor. So a good old kettle cable into there, we can push this to one side, and we have the much slimmer cable to run into the back of the processor. Surely now we're gonna be plugging in the headset. Oh no, one step away, I think. So now we're gonna plug in the extension lead. Unravel the mysteries. So we're gonna spin this bad boy around and and then I guess we've got to slide that over the HDMI cables. God, I don't like doing that. I just wish they were on different parts of the box. But in go the other two cables. Everything is set. Surely now we can put the headset in. Yes, we can. All right. So as expected, headset into the extension lead. Let's go. So I've got the cable here from the headset. You can see the little extra box on there. I'm going to plug the white one in and the HDMI cable. Done. Now, how did the happy fun times begin? We power on the television first. Check. We power on the PlayStation 4, check. So now it's time to power on the headset. You ready for this? Three, two, one, go. Oh, there was an extra beep there as well. I think something's happening. All right, and here it is then, cool. So let's start setting up your PlayStation VR. So we need to adjust the position and camera angle of the PlayStation camera so that your face is in the frame. That's kind of where you live, but let's try. All right, so I was on that camera, but now I'm on this one. Hey, it's the PlayStation camera. All right, uh, I'm gonna press okay. Uh, we can put on headphones or earphones. So I'm gonna whip out my Apple ones. I checked the PlayStation ones. They're kind of like torpedo style ones. Um, they just don't stay in my ears. Next step, we are gonna pull out the scope of course, so we can stretch and adjust accordingly. Then we're gonna put on the headset. Am I gonna be able to see these instructions in here? <laughs> That's the only problem. Currently inside of the headset, there is nothing going on, yet it's asking me to place it on and still press next. Oh, you know what, tell a lie, there are instructions inside of here. I can see everything, cool. All right, uh, put on the headset have done adjust the scope position uh there we go all right next up we have got lower the headband oh you know yeah i've already done that i've already kind of got the headset fully on uh tighten the dial give me one more click there we go everything's clear let's get into it let's begin our vr experience 
So one thing that I really like about this headset is that I don't have to pull it right the way off or I don't have to do any of this kind of motion to look down to look at things. I can simply just press this button, pull it away and now I can actually look at this headset and I can click up a few times, I'm happy with the volume, I can click it back in and everything's good. So I don't know if you see what I see right now but essentially all I see is the regular PlayStation menu. So I'm in a black space completely void and there is just a floating screen in front of me and by screen I mean borderless window of the PlayStation dashboard. Hello, Lobby. Whoa, look at this. Okay, this is cool. Right, so we have got a ton of demos available to us. We've got Wayward Sky, Drive Club VR, Tumble VR, interesting. Uh, obviously, the PlayStation Store, Eve Valkyrie. Oh, I bet that one's good. Uh, we've got VR Worlds, Battlezone, and Headmaster. I'm half tempted to start with Headmaster just simply because somebody tweeted me that I should try this. Hello, prospective student. Welcome. To the football improvement center. Can you see the speaker slightly moving? Due to your recent performance, your club so has sent bright. you to our heading facility for a free consultation. During this oh, brief beautiful. visit, our world-class staff will assess you for a long-term residential program. Sure. Please review the terms and conditions of your enrollment. <laughs> then nod your head to accept. Oh, Ooh. of course we got, uh, I mean, yeah, I read. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. this is I know some of these words. <laughs> Please direct your attention to the left. Where? Oh, hello. How's it going? Hello, this Robert. This will demonstrate the proper heading motion. Uh, Observe how the motion to... starts with the hips. How about if I use the like my chair to do this? Oh, uh... oh bloody hell! Here we go. Oh, oh. there you go. Oh, that looks all right. Yeah, it's a goal! Oh, there you go. Oh, hit it way too hard. Oh, no, it wasn't off the crossbar. It keeps telling me I'm outside the play area, even though I've barely moved. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, this is okay. This only requires, like, teeny tiny head movements. I don't think I even need this controller. I'm just going to put this down. Uh, oh, there you go. So it does go over to the side. I just wanted to test that. Go on, off your head, Robert. Ah, oh, no. Oh, we got one more ball. Uh, forward. There you go. Top right corner. Boom, boom, boom. 40 points, mate. This is like, this is way more scary than it should be. Hello, 30 points. Have I really, how am I going to do a, a headbutt that deep? Oh, uh, got it. Oh, I nailed it. Yeah, dude. Uh, slide it to the side. Oh, that was way too far off. This is really sensitive. Oh, no. I guess I need to be a bit more realistic about it. Uh, I mean, that's going to hit it someday. Got that. Nice. One. Oh, just to the side of it. Try again. There you go. Nice. Nailed it. Yes. Uh, 100. Let's go for 100. Oh, it's way too Three wide. Three balls remaining. Three balls to go. God, that's got it. Oh, I, oh, no, I didn't even get it. Oh, balls. Literal balls everywhere. No, didn't get it. I got 50 points. So, across the side, I just went straight into the keeper. Can I just, like, break the board? Oh, no, this isn't happening, isn't it? Okay, let's try again. Oh, I turned my head that. Oh, I guess it came off the side of my head. Got it. Oh, over the top of the keeper! It's better than a nutmeg. Go on, top right corner. That'll do. I shouldn't really be going for points here, but forget about it. Uh, go then like that. Oh, no, that was awful. Right off the top of my head. Ow. Oh, there you go. I think that also went in. Yes. Off the side. No, rubbish. I need to... I need, this one needs to go in. Go on. Whoa, we just made it through. <laughs> we got exactly 50 points. I didn't think I was going to get through this demo. Can you imagine if I failed at a VR demo? That'd be the worst. Oh, oh, we're right by the goal. Oh, jeez. Where's the ball coming from? Oh, it's a corner. Time will be tested with our patent pending speed round. Which one? Oh, 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 jeez. Which one? Ah, that one first. Go on then. On my head. Ah, uh, ugh. Ah, uh, ugh. Uh, 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 downward a bit. Oh, yeah. Go on then. Go on then. I know like I'm doing that thing from uh, the Saturday Night Live sketch. Ah, what is love? I'm going to try it this way. Oh, Jesus. Robert, you scared me. All right, here we go. Come on, Robert. Uh, off there. Oh, 50 points. 50 points. Come on. There it is. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. <laughs> no more. It works. It's a legit strat. Look at that. I got two stars from doing that. All right, here we go. Hey, it's Carl. I'm the guy that builds all this stuff, a.k.a. the world-class staff. Just wanted to say hi since you'll be around for a while. He calls this a free consultation, but it always turns out the same. Doesn't mention this note. Uh, d oh, wait, what was that? Don't mention this note, okay? He doesn't like me talking to students. See you later, Carl. All right. 
I thought that was Robert passing me a love letter, but one can hope. Someday, oh, someday, friend. Oh, he's disappeared. Where's Robert gone? Robert! Oh, there's a drone. Hello. Most oh my god. What? There's a bomb. <gasps> Let's get the bomb, or is the bomb bad? <laughs> Where's the ball coming from? Oh, it's from there. Uh, oh, got it. Oh. If I can get it low enough, I'm going to hit the bomb. Hold on a second. I'm <laughs> just, just by staying still. I'm just going to stay still. Look, ready? Oh, wait, wait. I need to turn my head slightly. If I turn it slightly to the left. Oh, a little bit less to the left. I'm going to try and line up with this bomb. Oh, close. There you go. Just stay completely still. This is my... Three there you go. This is a moose. Oh, my God. What? Whoa. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Into the goal. Boom shakalaka. 50 points. Straight up and knocking. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Best round yet. Oh, oh, bloody hell. It's coming some way. Christ. Three balls remaining. He's got some belt on that. There you go. Oh, I thought that was a crossbar challenge then. Uh, 200 points maybe. No. Just missed it. Oh, one more hit. What is love? What do we get? Oh, no, that went well off. Oh, what in the world is this? Oh, no. Robert? Carl! Who is it? 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 Rock and roll, man. Where the hell is the goal, though? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where do we start? Where's the ball coming from? Are they all coming from there? Oh, mate. This is so cool. Let's go. Let's go. You ready for this? Uh, ball. Oh, come on. Who's the killjoy? Includes our free consultation. Uh, we'll just tally up the scores and... Uh... Oh, congratulations! You Five stars. for our residential re-education program. Please familiarise yourself with this features and benefits brochure. We hope your club chooses to enrol you. Oh, whoa, your hello. Is, um, right, so then I can go on to choose to purchase the game. You can do it by looking at it, which is a little dangerous. Um, or I can look at the other one to leave. I can hone my skills in over 40 fun challenges. The football improvement arena. And you can improve the whole team at once. Good God.